Shofatim Judges 6. And the children of Yasherael did evil in the sight of Yahuwah. And Yahuwah delivered them into the hand of Midian seven years. And the hand of Midian prevailed against Yasherael. And because of the Midianim, the children of Yasherael made them at the dens which are in the mountains, and eth caves, and eth strongholds. And so it was, when Yashadael had sown, that the Midianim came up, and the Amalekin, and the children of the east, and even they came up against them. And they encamped against them and destroyed eth the increase of the earth, till you come unto Gaza, and left no sustenance for Yashara'el, neither sheep, nor ax, rather nor ox, nor ass. For they came up with their cattle and their tents, and they came as grasshoppers for multitude. For both they and their camels were without number, and they entered into the land to destroy it. And Yashara'el was greatly impoverished because of the Midyanim. And the children of Yashara'el cried unto Yahuwah. And it came to pass, when the children of Yashara'el cried unto El Yahuwah because of the Midyanim, that Yahuwah sent a prophet unto the children of Yashara'el, which said unto them, Thus says Yahuwah, Elohai of Yashara'el, I brought you up from Mitzrayim, and brought you forth out of the house of bondage, and I delivered you out of the hand of the Mitzrayim, and out of the hand that oppressed you and drove them out from before you and gave you eth their land. And I said unto you, I am Yahuwah Elohechem. Fear not eth the Elohai of the Emorim in whose land ye dwell. But ye have not obeyed my voice and there came an angel of Yahuwah and sat under an oak which was in Ophrah that pertained unto Yoash, the Avi, Ha, Ezri. And his son, Gidon, threshed wheat by the winepress to hide it from the Midianim. And the angel of Yahuwah appeared unto him and said unto him, Yahuwah is with you, you mighty man of valor. And Gidan said unto him, O my Adonai, if Yahuwah be with us, why then is all this befallen us? And where be all his miracles, which our fathers told us of, saying, Did not Yahuwah bring us up from Mitzrayim? But now Yahuwah has forsaken us and delivered us into the hands of the Midianim. And Yahuwah looked upon him and said, Go in this your might, and you shall save Eth Yashara'el from the hand of the Midianim. Have not I sent you? And he said unto him, O oh, my Adonai, wherewith shall I save Eth Yashara'el? Behold, my family is poor in Menasheh, and I am the least in my father's house. And Yahuwah said unto him, Surely I will be with you, and you shall smite Eth the Midianim as one man. And he said unto him, if now I have found grace in your sight, then show me a sign that you talk with me. 
depart not hence, I pray you, until I come unto you, and bring forth eth my present, and set it before you. And he said, I will tarry until you come again. And Gidon went in, and made ready a kid, and matzah cakes of an ephah of flour. The flesh he put in a basket, and he put the broth in a pot, and brought it out unto him under the oak, and presented it. And the angel of Elohim said unto him, Take eth the flesh, and eth the matzah cakes, and lay them upon this rock, and pour out the broth. And he did so. Then the angel of Yahuwah put forth eth the end of the staff that was in his hand, and touched eth the flesh, and eth the matzah cakes, and there rose up fire out of the rock, and consumed the flesh and the matzah cakes. Then the angel of Yahuwah departed out of his sight. And when Gidon perceived that he was an angel of Yahuwah, Gidon said, Also, rather, Alas, O Adonai Yahuwah, for because I have seen an angel of Yahuwah face to face. And Yahuwah said unto him, Peace be unto you, fear not, you shall not die. Then Gidon built an altar there unto Yahuwah and called it Yahuwah Shalom. Unto this day it is yet in Ophrah of the Avi Ha Erzim, Ezrim rather. And it came to pass the same night that Yahuwah said unto him, Take eth your father's young bullock, even the second bullock of seven years old, and throw down at the altar of Baal that your father has, and cut down at the Asherah pole that is by it, and build an altar unto Yahuwah Eloheka upon the top of this rock, in the ordered place, and take eth the second bullock, and offer a burnt sacrifice with the wood of the Asherah pole, which you shall cut down. Then Gidon took ten men of his servants, and did as Yahuwah had said unto him. And so it was, because he feared at his father's household, and eth the men of the city, that he could not do it by day, that he did it by night. And when the men of the city arose early in the morning, behold, the altar of Baal was cast down, and the Asherah pole was cut down that was by it. And eth the second bullock was offered upon the altar that was built. And they said one to another, Who has done this thing? And when they inquired and asked, they said, Gidan, the son of Yoash, has done this thing. Then the men of the city said unto Yoash, Bring out Eth your son, that he may die, because he has cast down at the altar of Baal, and because he has cut down the Asherah pole that was by it. And Yoash said unto all that stood against him, Will ye plead for Baal? Will ye save him? He that will plead for him, let him be put to death while it is yet morning. If he be an Elohim, let him plead for himself, because one is cast down at his altar. Therefore on that day he called him Yerubabel, rather Yerub Baal saying, Let Baal plead against him, because he has thrown down Eth his altar. Then all the Midianim and the Amalekim, rather Amalekim, and the children of the east were gathered together and went over and pitched in the valley of Yisrael.
but the Ruach Yahuwah came upon Eth Gidan and he blew a shofar and Avi Ezer was gathered after him and he sent messengers throughout all Manasheh who also was gathered after him and he sent messengers unto Asher and unto Zevalin and unto Naphtali and they came up to meet them and Gidan said unto Elohim if you will save Eth Yashara'el by my hand, as you have said, behold, I will put Eth a fleece of wool in the floor, and if the dew be on the fleece only, and it be dry upon all the earth beside, then shall I know that you will save Eth Yashara'el by my hand, as you have said. And it was so. For he rose up early on the morrow, and thrust Eth the fleece together, and wringled the dew out of the fleece, a bowl full of water. And Gidan said unto Elohim, Let not your anger be hot against me, and I will speak but this once. Let me prove, I pray you, but this once with the fleece. Let it now be dry only upon the fleece, and upon all the ground let there be dew. And Elohim did so that night, for it was dry upon the fleece only, and there was dew on all the ground. <laughs>